Hey, what's up guys? Jason with the Whitaker Group. And today I want to talk to you about writing offers over list price and houses and how you can make sure that you're writing just enough to win the deal and not writing way more than you need to to get your offer accepted. So a lot of times when you're in a multiple offer situation, you will need to go over list price. But the question is like, how much over should I go? Should I write it for 10 grand over, 15 grand over? What if the next offer was only for five grand over and I spent all that extra money for no reason? That's a big fear that a lot of buyers have, especially in this low inventory market that we're in. So one of the tools that we have as highly educated realtors is what's called an escalation clause. Now, escalation clause is essentially a document that goes along with the purchase agreement that says, I'm willing to increase the price of my offer by X number of dollars in order to make sure that I win up to a maximum amount, right? So let's say you have a house that you want to buy and this house is listed at $100,000, right? You've got a $100,000 house and your buyers or you as buyers say, you know what, I love this house and I would be willing to pay up to 125 for this house, okay? So you know that you're wanting to spend more, but you don't want to just offer 125 because what if the next best offer was only 110? You went way over and you didn't need to go that high. So an escalation clause essentially indicates how much you're willing to go and by what increments you're willing to raise your offer until you hit the maximum amount. So let's say I'm willing to go to 125 and my escalation clause that my realtor writes for me, it says I'm willing to increase my purchase price by $1,000 each time someone else's offer is higher than mine, not to exceed 125. Now, this means that if the best offer was 110, then your offer stops at 110 plus $1,000, right? So 111. It doesn't mean you go all the way up to 125. It means that you spend only as much as you need to up to your maximum amount. Now, the other nice thing about this is it requires what's called a bona fide offer in order for them to take advantage of your escalation clause. So they can't just say, oh yeah, you know, the next best offer was 124. No, they have to actually have an offer in hand, be able to show that to you and say, this is a bona fide offer, a copy of earnest money from somebody who was serious about buying this house that offered 124 on the house. Therefore, your offer is the best offer at 125. And if the best offer was 110, they have to show you that offer. They say, hey, look, best offer we had, 110. Your escalation clause says that you'll go to 111. You still want the house, you've won the deal, right? So if you're thinking about going over on list price and you have a maximum budget you're willing to go up to, don't write your offer for that amount. Make sure you're using an escalation clause to incrementally increase your offer until you are the best offer and it stops there without you having to spend any extra money. If you have questions about getting your offer accepted in this kind of crazy market that we're in, um, definitely worth your while to talk to any one of the Whitaker Group uh, agents, all highly trained. They all go through training on these types of things and so they know how to make sure to get your offer go through without you having to go crazy on the amount of money you're spending to get the house that you love. Thanks a lot, guys. I hope you have an awesome day.